Okay, here's a small demonstration of this uh, single coil pulse motor. And as you can see, it's a rotor I've used in another motor experiment. And underneath there is a, a single coil. It's double wound, 18 gauge. That means there's two wires wound together. And it's uh, running through this transistor right here. And it's being triggered by this reed switch, which is in this piece of plastic here and it's uh, being triggered by the magnets as they pass by the reed switch. You can hear it here. And that turns this transistor on and off, which is powered by this battery coil. And I've got an, uh, an amp meter here to check the amps. I've got a volt meter. It's a 12.61 volts sitting with no power to it. And here on this side, this is the power inside here. And then on this side is the power out. And uh, this side here is where I am going to uh, take the back EMF off the second coil, the collapsing magnetic field comes off the second coil, um, goes into these caps, and also into this uh, load. It's a little test uh, light bulb that I have for automotive 12 volt, uh, 6 to 12 volt uh, test light. And um, this, this meter is uh, set on volts to... Uh, get a reading of the voltage on the uh, caps as I uh, take the back EMF off while this motor spins. And um, just a second here and we'll start it up. Okay, we're ready for a demonstration of this uh, motor. And um, what I'll do is I'll hook up the power, power and we just show the voltage on the, on the uh, battery right now. It's at 12.59 volts. And I've got this little laser pointer here, and uh, hopefully it'll work and we can see where we're, what we're doing here. Um, that's the power in here, and this is the lead for the power in. It's running through this amp meter, so we can check the amperage while it's running. And then we've got this again hooked up here, um, running off of the this side here, the back EMF going into these capacitors, and then into this, uh, into this little automotive light bulb, like I said before, to... Uh, take the back EMF off, which is normally wasted as heat. And I'll now start it up by doing this. As you can see, the amps running over an amp just to start. It's extremely bright right now. And, uh, it's running it's 18 volts. This will come down as we go up, get up to speed. And uh, you can see it running. Switch there, the little reed switch there makes quite a bit of noise. And uh, you can see the amperage is going down quite a bit. It's settled down at about, uh, settling at about 600 milliamps. Get a real close reading on this. And it's going up a little bit. It'll settle down at about 600. I've run this before and it uh, settles about 600 milliamps. Back out and the voltage in the battery is 12.38. Now it's not recharging the, the, uh, the run battery at all. What we're doing is just showing a demonstration of, of the amp draw on this of 600 milliamps. And um, we've got now 14 volts. 14 volts in this uh, in, in, the, in these capacitors coming off the back EMF. Uh, Right here is a one-way diode, so it's only taking the, the back collapsing magnetic field from the coil. And um, as you can see, the light is very bright. And we'll zoom out a little bit here. We'll go back into the amps. That's about 600 milliamps draw. Each division is 200. So there we go, 600 right there. And it's running at almost uh, about 2300 RPM. Um, we're taking the backing up, and you, as you can see, this transistor here, it doesn't even get warm. I mean, it's very cool to touch. It's a little warm when it starts, but that's it, it cools down once it's up to speed. And 
you can adjust this weird switch a little bit, I think. You can get some more PM out of it, I don't know. Alright. Again, it's just running off that big coil down there. As I can show. That's all it is, is a one large coil. And the amperage again is still 600 milliamps. Voltage is 12.34 volts. And this is running at about 14 volts in this back back EMF cap. I'll go for another angle here. You can see there's the uh, the coil. And that's all this is. And we'll let it spin down a second. We'll turn it off. We'll just unhook this. As you can see, it's still a little bright. It's just from the, the rotor spinning down, you know, 4 volts. A little bit of brightness there, not much. And again, this transistor is not, nothing, not even warm, barely, just nothing. And we'll let it come to a stop. And we can calculate the uh, wattage from this. This is a small uh, test to show the torque of the small motor here running with a single pulse coil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the rotor from spinning by uh, placing my hand on the shaft here and slowing it down with my fingers. And it's very easy to do. There's not much uh, current running or not much power in this uh, on this motor here at all. And it's still only drawing 7 watts, so I'll just show the, the current again here. As we can see, it's only using 600 milliamps. And um, back out here. And all I do is just grab this very lightly. I'm not burning my hand at all. I can slow it right down. And as I do, we can see the current's actually going going up a little bit, over a little bit over an amp. There, so we'll stop. And uh, I'll show you again. Very simple to stop. And I'll just let it speed up again. again. As you can see the light bulb is lighting up. It's about 15 volts off the back EMF. We're running uh, again about 600 milliamp draw. And what I've done is I set this meter to the Hertz, um, which is a frequency, it's at zero. And I've hooked up this coil here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the coil above the uh, spinning rotor and get a reading of the Hertz. As you can see, it's 155 almost. 155 hertz. 100, yeah, it's just around 155. So that tells me I can get the RPM from that now. So I'll just move this coil away. And again, showing the, uh, the draw 600 milliamps. Okay. 